All right, check this out. We got a video that is titled Little Rob on Chicano Rapper Speaking on His Name. Now listen, as far as I can remember, as far as I can remember, everyone has always went after Little Rob. Now, I liked his first album, Crazy Life, and I liked the second album, Natural High. I bumped those while I was in high school for the little bit of time that I was there. And they were classics at that time. You know, at that time. But after that, I noticed that every Chicano rapper went after him. You know, every Chicano rapper will tell you the same story. He ain't never helped out nobody. He ain't never been there for nobody. He ain't never, you know, lent out his hand. He ain't never showed love. He ain't never came around. Like, they all tell you the same sorry story. Now, is it true? I don't know, because I've never met him. I've never, you know, been around his circle. I've never done any of that. So I couldn't really tell you if any of these stories are true or not, right? But it seems like everybody has always had a problem, and everybody has always dissed him, you know? Uh, but he's, if I, if I tell you the truth from, on the, from the outside looking in, He's always seemed like the type of guy that doesn't want to come around for the simple fact that he's doing him, right? Like, I'm just doing me. Everyone leave me alone. I want to be left alone. I don't bother nobody. Don't nobody bother me. I don't want nothing from you. You know, I, you, I don't know you nothing, you know? That's the type of guy he seems, that he seems like, you know? But I do have something to say about him recently coming out and doing interviews, all right? So let's watch this video. Who is it from? Let me see who it's from so I'll give him some credit. Rap and Corridos TV. Now, I remember this, homie. If I'm not mistaken, when I, when I started off, I had a few thousand subscribers. He had hit me up and said he was going to start a page that I inspired him. If I'm not mistaken, it's the same cat. This was a long time ago, and I told him, do your thing. Open your page up. So it, it's good to see him... Uh, dropping videos right again rapping corridos tv salute little rob and chicano rapper speaking on his name let's watch this and let's give you guys a hater world uncensored Like, well, if you want to call them gems or whatever, like yeah. even like it's when now it, it's your turn to be that one get like passing the, the I guess the knowledge so to speak. And the, the knowledge I'm passing is like just uh, you know never step on nobody's toes, yeah. don't don't do nobody wrong, don't burn no bridges, man, or else you know you get one and done and that's it. See? You know what I mean? That's all you get, you know. So there's uh you know no no making up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> See, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> All of that is an Instagram yeah. caption. I'll tell you that right now. But like too much, yeah, just people talking too much. And I, I try yeah. to mind my own business and they, they bring, you know, bring up old stuff, you know what I mean? It's like, hey, man, just keep it on the low, low. It's, yeah. all, it's all good, big dog, you know? I can't already <laughs> imagine, but... Does anybody know why... It seems like he came out of retirement, right? Don't it seem like he came out of retirement? Like he randomly came out of who knows where and started to do interviews? Why? You know why? I feel like why? It's because he started to see the traction that Mexicans or Southsiders or, you know, the community started to have. When I mean the community, I mean like the brown people. Ain't nobody heard of no Little Rob for the last, I don't know, 10 years maybe? And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just simply saying I feel that he came out of retirement because he saw the train moving. Facts. You know, he saw the train catching steam. And he said, you know what? Let me come out, let me make some noise, and let me get a little bit of money. His name was being dropped. His name's always being dropped, so that's not it. His name always gets dropped, always. He been getting dissed, always. That ain't the reason. 
How can that be the reason? You know, he's always getting name dropped. That ain't the reason. He saw everybody was having motion. He saw everybody making moves. He saw the train was going again. And he said, let me jump on because I am Chicano rap. No matter what I do, it'll make money. And let me do what it do. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's just like, are you only coming around when you need something? You know, you feel what I'm saying? Like, like you're not here to help out, but you are here to take. So, I mean, you could really take it any way you want to. For me, I really don't care. But really pay attention. You know, in 2012, King Little G dissed him. He never came out and said anything. At that time, there was no motion. You know, there was no motion. Now, there's motion all over the place. You know? Let's see what else they say. I got a question for you guys. What's cracking? Hey, when you guys making a hit thing with Little Rob? We're going to get blocked, banned, and deleted off YouTube watching this video. I think he felt compelled to jump on. He really isn't talking conversation. He really isn't the talking exactly, you know. Uh, but he saw the dollars. He saw the money bag, you know. And again, there's nothing wrong with the money bag. Let's get it. We're all here to get it. But I mean, if you gonna come and take, at least put in. And I don't mean put in like you know. I mean like, come on. Like I've never really heard of Little Rob helping anybody out. Maybe he has helped out a gang of people. You know, maybe he has put on for a lot of people. We don't know. We're not We're not there. You know, but from the outside looking in, we've never heard stories about him really reaching out. And who cares? Like, I don't care, but people do care. You know, and when you leave a legacy, what's your legacy going to be? Oh, this fool got paid and, and was up there, but he never really helped. Fuck it. It's all about you in the end, you know? Let's go. I don't have no plans to do nothing with Little Rob. Little Rob didn't. Uh, I don't. I don't. Little Rob doesn't wanna. Uh, I I did a I did a we did a bet. A uh, shout out to Simes Carter from Denver. I was just talking to that fool the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he made a bet with uh, cause I I was messing with Simes hard at the time. I was in Denver and um, he bet Little Rob uh, the Broncos versus the uh, Chargers. And Rob was telling uh, Simes they, he wanted to bet. He's like, nah, I don't, we don't want to bet. Just tell me how much. And if I win, if the Broncos win, you do a verse for Little Guete. And uh, Rob said, yeah. Uh, long story short, the fucking Chargers lose. And Rob said, nah, they never shook hands. So after that, wow. Little Rob used to be my favorite rapper until he did that. Damn. So he died. Wow. I mean, how would you feel about that? I never watched this. Salute to Mr. Criminal. Salute to Mr. Criminal. That's right. Uh, damn, I never watched this before. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Damn, I don't even know how to feel about that one, bro. Like, you have... Like, how is it that you... How is it you make a bit and then you go back on it? I don't know. That's weird. That's fucked up, bro. That is fucked up. That is really fucked up. Let's go. Have you like that, yeah. bro? Yeah. Yeah, fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have you had a chance to ever speak to him? Again? Hey, but you see how dope uh, Little Cuete is that he had never mentioned it to nobody? He had never... Mention it to nobody. He kept it to himself all these years. That's how you know he not lying. And that's how you know he ain't trying to get no clout off Little Rob. Because if he wanted to get clout off of Little Rob, he would have brought this up a long time ago. So salute to Little Cuete for not, you know, using that as his advantage. That's how you know he not lying. Like that, yeah. bro? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, fuck that. So yeah. I didn't yeah. have um, him. Have you had a chance to ever speak to him again? Or he won't give me that chance. Damn. I've called I've called him out. I've called him out to talk to wow. me. I, I've I've reached out to him. Uh, he avoids me at all costs. I don't know what 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 his feelings are about or what what he's stuck on. But I'm past that shit, dog. Like I'm I'm married. He's married. He has his family. You didn't hear what he said right now. He said that he gives you one chance, and if you fuck it up, he'll never talk to you again. So, Mister Shadow, let me make it clear to you. You ain't never gonna talk to Little Rob again. So you might as well forget about that. That ship has sailed. You know, uh, he don't. It sounds like he don't like confrontation. You know, like leave me alone. You know, I wonder why. I wonder why he feels that way. Shit, and, and I'll, I'll be straight out. It was over a female, dog. Wow. It was over a female, but. I didn't do wrong, homie. Like, he pushed me to do wrong. You know what I'm saying? Because he didn't believe me. He claimed that he was my brother, homie. And when I came to him about his broad being fucking foul, he didn't believe me. Wow. He accused me. Wow. So, I was like, okay. You want to accuse me, dog? And I'm over here trying to be loyal to you and telling you what the real get down? Now I'm going to prove to you what kind of dog I can be. Yeah. And that's why... I Hold on. Mr. Shadow... Now he really ain't never going to talk to you. Bro, you just aired him out. You just said that Mr. Uh, that, that little Rob stopped talking to you because of female. We, none of us knew that. I didn't know that. It's the first time I watched this. Damn, that means that you really ain't never going to talk to him, bro. Ever again. Oh, I heard this story before. Not me. I, I I never heard this before. You know, why? Because it's probably San Diego stuff, and I don't really dig too deep into San Diego stuff. But damn, bro, he ain't really. Forget it. That's over. I went down. I mean, you know what I'm saying. And and everybody knows excited one and excited part two is about that. Damn, yeah. I didn't know that. You know. What I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, there you go. I you want to call them gems or whatever like yeah. even like it's when now it's, it's your turn to be that one get like passing the i the guess the knowledge so to speak and the, the knowledge i'm passing is like just uh, you know never step on nobody's toes yeah. don't don't do nobody wrong don't burn no bridges man or else, knowledge, you know bro. you get one and done and that's it See? you know what i mean that's all you get you know so there's uh you know no no making up you know what i mean yeah um, there's no making up. Uh, listen, that's not knowledge. What he's what he's passing down is not knowledge. That's common sense, my boy. That is common sense. To not burn nobody, don't burn your bridges. That is common motherfucking sense. Quit acting like you're giving us a gem. Now look, I don't got no issues with little Rob. I probably will never meet him in my life. He probably don't know who I am, and it's all good. But the fact is that from the outside looking in, it seems like he's all about himself. But then again, in this world, in this world, in this world, it sort of is all about yourself. Let's get it. 